was resting in a siding. Sometimes it's really tiring to be such a large and splendid engine. One does have to keep up appearances, so. Hello, fat face. Uh, fat face, fat face, fat face, fat face. Puh, what cheek. That Henry speaking to me like that. Me who's never had an accident. Aren't jammed whistles and burnt safety valves accidents? No, certainly not. High spirits might happen to any engine. But to come off the rails like Henry did, well, I tell you, is it right? Is it decent? Next day, it was Henry's turn to take the express. Be careful, Henry. You're not pulling the flying kipper now. Ah, fat face! Fat face! Soon Gordon went back to sleep. But not for long. Wake up, Gordon. Ah, a special train is needed for an engine to pull it. Oh, is it coaches or trucks? Trucks? Trucks. Pooh. Soon Edward came by to push Gordon. I won't go. I won't go. Don't be silly. Don't. Oh, I'll show them. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop in time, and he slithered into a ditch. Whoosh! He hissed. Get me out! Get me out! Please! Please, someone, just get me out of here! Not a hope, said his driver. You're stuck, you silly great engine! Don't you understand that? Soon Gordon saw some boys on the other side of the ditch. They began singing. Silly old Gordon fell in the ditch, fell in the ditch, fell in the ditch. Silly old Gordon fell in the ditch all on a Monday morning. Poor Gordon. That night, the rescue ensued. With strong cables, James and Henry tried to pull Gordon free from the ditch. <sighs> Come on, Henry, I'm doing it. <sighs> Soon, Henry and James went away. That night, Gordon slunk back to his siding at the station. The big engine knew that he would lose the express from Sir Topham Hatt due to the fact that he ran into a ditch. Gordon soon learned his lesson then. <laughs>